Big hammer thrower Gwen Berry sparking furious uproar for turning her back on the American flag during a medal ceremony at the U.S. track and field trials. She then covered her head with a T-shirt that said activist athlete. Berry claims organizers should have played it before she got on the podium and that she was the victim of a setup. She says the anthem does not speak for her and that she represents people killed by systematic or systemic racism. And Barry is defiant and is refusing to back away from what she did. And the White House is backing the athlete. But I know he's incredibly proud to be an American uh, and has great respect for the anthem and all that it represents, especially for our, our men and women serving in uniform all around the world. He would also say, of course, that part of that pride in our country means recognizing there are moments where we are, as a country haven't lived up to our highest ideals, and it means respecting the right of people granted to them in the Constitution to peacefully protest. So, Jesse, the question from Peter Ducey was not about whether she had the right to do what she did. It was whether it was appropriate, <laughs> given her position as someone who wants to represent Team USA at the Olympics. What There's are they a difference. Call, they call that a layup, right, Dana? <laughs> <laughs> she tried to both sides disrespecting the anthem. If I was on the committee for the Olympic squad, I, I would sanction her not from, for the display of disrespect. I would do it for poor sportsmanship. She was third. Right. Right. Yeah, the other two women yeah. who had the gold and the silver, that was their moment. Mm -hmm. good point. And that was the country's moment to reflect on a great event. And instead, she poisoned the chemistry of the female track and field squad, and she made it all about herself. She drew attention from them and from the country to herself, and it was negative attention. No one's talking about systemic racism after we see this. We are talking about her right. and the disrespect and the probable... I, I don't think she knows that much about what she was doing up there. She doesn't have a long record of... Um, of writings with regard to systemic racism in this country. It was a symbolic act that was vacuous, in my opinion. Hammer throwing is a beautiful sport. It is. I dialed in on YouTube today, Gutfeld, and I was there for <laughs> at least 40 minutes. It is graceful, there's power, there's precision and timing, and she just took it from a positive and made it a negative. If this country is so racist, why do you want to represent a racist country to the world? Yeah. And why do you want to reap the benefits of this racist country and then get up there, place third, and then spit in our face. She can throw hammers, I'll change the channel, click when she's on ever again, and I think the rest of the country feels the same way. It's just another event that liberals ruin. Well, I'm really glad that you mentioned the winner and the second place. The winner was Deanne, Deanna Price, and the second place finisher was Brooke Anderson, because they did yeah. get that taken away from them, Dana. Well, so Deanna Price actually destroyed the hammer throw record. Yeah. Right. And she should be our lead. Right. And I, I'm so excited because I don't know if you've seen any of the Olympic trials. Our athletes are really good. And America is going to kick some rear end. At <laughs> watch the your mouth, young and that's lady. that's the best thing about the Olympics. Like, I'll watch America against anyone. Like, I'll even watch table tennis. If America is going it's to beat true. France in table tennis, I am totally there for that. I would watch hammer throwing. Deanna Price deserves a lot more attention. There are so many patriotic athletes that are out there. And some of these young people that are you know, athletes, that if they're going to take a stand and exercise their right, fine. But then, you know, everyone else has a right to react mm -hmm. and have their own feelings about it. And Harold, I think that's the big question. You know, if she wants to represent Team USA, ironically, in Beijing, which is part of a communist country that is, you know, engaged in genocide against people who for generations has sterilized women and forced them only to have one, one child. I mean, this idea that she is signing up for a job to represent the United States, but doesn't want to be on the podium when the national anthem for the country plays. I think that's what's difficult for people to really come to terms with and accept, given it's she's signing up for that role. No doubt about it. Uh, she didn't. I don't think she announced her support for China. So I, don't, I, I hear you, and mm -hmm. I hope she doesn't go over there. I don't suspect she will do that. You know, I've always been taught to honor uh, the flag and the anthem, and I do, and I have. Um, but dissent can coexist in, in, in a country uh, and we still expound our patriotism and honor the symbols of our society. Um, we shouldn't assassinate someone's character because we disagree with them. Um, and that's what cancel culture does. They try to censor people. Now, I do think you raise a legitimate question around, do you feel strongly enough about the country to go and represent us uh, in the Olympics? And I think that's the question I'd love to hear her answer. I have no issue with her saying that I want the country to live up more to all the country promises to be to every citizen. We're striving every day to be a more perfect union. Mm -hmm. But I do think that's the one question uh, that perhaps this athlete will have to answer. And if the Olympics wants 
every athlete to stand during all of this and to not bow. They should make that a rule. Yeah. And it's my understanding when you're when you are throwing a hammer, they don't ask you what your position is in a national anthem. They want to see how far you can throw that thing. So yeah. if she can win a medal, you know, we'll probably won't feel as strongly Those about this. I, was, I would also we, ask them about their aim. Like, how good is your aim? Because where am I standing when the hammer is being thrown? That's a good question, Dana. I'm going to watch it from the television. I'm going to watch exactly. it from the television. But, Greg, this is, you know, when she put that T-shirt on that says activist athlete, she's replacing her uniform, which she's trying to, the uniform she's going to wear, if she makes it, is going to be, you know, the USA. And so she's making it all about herself rather than about the team, which that's not what teamwork is about. Makes you wonder who the real tool is. Oh. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.